Hi there, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. And I just want to talk a little bit about the holidays and some of the things that we can actually do or what actually happens, you know, why are we feeling what we're feeling? Okay, so <clears throat> think about this, you know, we grow up in our families and we learn that whatever we experience unconsciously that that is love, okay? And as we get older, we're not liking it. We're not liking some of the experiences that we have and we want to change them. But when we come together with our family, we're carrying all of our growing up years, our, you know, our life, whatever we've been holding, the resentments and blaming and feeling hurt and feeling you know, ashamed or feeling regret or dislike or whatever that is that we are experiencing, we bring it to the holidays. Okay, and that's what we do. All right. So unfortunately, you know, it doesn't just go away unless you're really doing some inner work. But here's the thing, your life and your reactions are not about anybody else. It's all about you. I'm going to remind you of something that you may be aware of and have forgotten, or maybe you do not even know this, okay? You are creating your reality 100%, okay? It starts from past lives you carry over your wounding, and then you're recreated again in this lifetime in order to finally be done with it, heal it, and move on. Unfortunately, no one knows this, okay? So we come into the world, we carry all our baggage, we gather more evidence why, you know, life is, um, is painful, or we don't want to be here, or we're not happy, whatever that is. But we want to blame people, you know, we want to blame our mothers, our fathers, our siblings, our bosses, our spouses, our children, anybody we want to blame. Okay, but it's important to really wake up to an absolute truth. You create your reality. Okay, you create it based on your subconscious. So if you're holding all these resentments growing up with your family and you're coming time for the holidays, you're going to carry all of that energy, all of that angst, all that pain, all that emotion, anger, frustration, you know, hatred, dislike, whatever, feeling ashamed, feeling like, you, you know, you've been uh, victimized, whatever you've grown up with and you haven't healed it, it's still in your subconscious. And that's what you're bringing to the plate when you come to the holidays with your family. Okay. And again, you're going to be wanting to blame somebody. That's what we do. We get hurt. We get angry. We get frustrated. We want to blame somebody else. We will make it their fault. Okay. So I'm just going to remind you, this is really important. You need to wake up to you create your reality. Okay. So think about that. Start owning it. I create my reality. Okay. You, may, you don't have to like it, but you do need to accept it because it, it's an absolute. It's the truth. You, you create it because you, all this stuff is buried in the subconscious and you're constantly echoing out the frequencies of that, of that damage, okay? Whatever you've got running, you're echoing it out and guess what's going to happen? You're going to get more and more and more of the same things you experienced in your childhood. So here it is coming to family time, coming to the holidays and you can feel yourself getting, you know, wound up or not wanting to do it, having whatever emotional angst you're having. And, you know, it's like you don't really want to do it, but you're going to do it because you think you should or you're supposed to. But if you're going to show up, then show up with your heart open, okay? The past is behind you. You create your reality. Take responsibility and own it. When you start accepting, I create my reality. Whoa, I'm not liking that, but I can't blame anybody. I'm creating it. I created it. I came into this world with all kinds of wounding I never unraveled. And of course, at a soul level, I picked the perfect family, doing more soul dancing with people I've already been doing it with to recreate scenario situations so that I can get activated so that I can heal it, all right? Think about that. I don't care what's happening. You are trying to heal. You are trying to wake up. Your soul wants to evolve beyond all of this angst. So when you really start claiming, all right, I did it. My, my, I am responsible for my life. I'm responsible for my creation. So therefore, if I am responsible, I want to take charge. I'm going to stop being a victim and stop blaming. So when you go to your family and you can feel you're wanting, you know, the same old, same old situations are always happening. Mom's the same. Dad's the same. Siblings are the same. Aunts and uncles are the same. Everybody's the same. Okay, unless they've done healing. So 
when you get there and you're there, you can start to feel the body shutting down, heart closing down, but then remind yourself, ah, ah, I create my reality. I drew this to me so that I can unravel my own past, so I can get liberated. And here's the other piece to it. In the core of your, of your being, you have love for all these people. There's an original feeling of love that everyone has for your mother, your father. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. There is love. What you want to do is find that love again because it's still there. Okay. So underneath all your angst, your frustrations, your victimizations, your poor me's, your angers, your resentments, blame, blame, blame. Underneath all of that is love. So what you might want to think about playing with is... Let yourself find that love before you get to where you're going, before you get to the family or if they're coming to your house, find that love. And it's pretty simple to do because it's still there. A uh, simple thing to do is you probably have some kind of love for either someone or maybe even it's a critter, okay? So what you do is you read, let yourself just think about that critter or family or person or whoever that is that you feel love for. Let that feeling of love start to come through so you start to feel your love, okay? I'm just going to remind you, love comes from within. It's not coming from out there. All, every time you feel love, it's rising up from within, within you. It's always there, okay? So before you get where you're going, think about someone or a situation, anything that makes you feel that warm feeling where you're just feeling love. You're not blaming, making wrong, finding fault. You're not the poor me, the victim, you hurt me. You're doing none of that. You're just feeling that love. Now, once you open up to feeling that love, you can practice with that several times, you know, get, get yourself ready for it. Find where you're feeling that love, okay? And then when you do get to where you're going or people are coming to your home, when they start arriving, you can start to feel your body wanting to close down, wanting to go into its normal reactive state. But because you've been actually practicing and playing with connecting to your own love that rises up from within, it'll be easier for you to continue to keep your heart open. So once people start arriving or you're going where you're going, when you walk in, when people walk in, remember the love, activate it, feel it because it's still there, it never goes away, okay? So feel it, open to it, and throughout the time, throughout the day, if, if you start to slip into the blame game or the poor me game, just keep remembering, I create my reality, I am pure love and light in the core of my being, it is who I am. It's actually who everyone is. Everyone is pure love and light in the very core. It's just all the wounding and misperceptions and beliefs and programming and conclusions that caused us to close the heart down, block the heart, have a false ego, become the false self who's not who we are, the poor me, the victim, the blamer, you know, all of that is we are not that. You are love and light. Keep remembering who you really are and then continue to connect with that pure love and light, okay? And if you continue to practice that, and play with that, work with that, so that no matter where you are in any situation, when you keep coming back to that, when you keep resting in that feeling of pure love and light, you're going to have a much greater experience. You're going to discover that some of your own thoughts and beliefs and your angst and your, you know, your wounding isn't what, you know, you thought it was, you know, maybe these people didn't really do the, the damage that you're blaming them for. Okay? I'm not negating that people are messed up and everyone's wounded and people will do things to hurt each other, but it's not, most of the time, it's not truly intentional. Most people do not want to intentionally hurt each other. Okay. They're doing their best, but you're dealing with wounded humans. Everyone's the walking wounded. Okay. Doing their best, <laughs> having needs and wants and hopes and you know, the fears of their own death, the fear of their own experiences and, you know, fear of life, really fully embracing life. So everyone's the same. We're exactly the same, only different. Okay. So for you, you're the master here. You're the one who has awareness. You're the one watching this video. So don't be expecting anybody else to be doing what you know. Okay. So you keep your heart open. 
you practice and realize, ah, oh, I created everything. I do everything to me. I agreed for these experiences before I came into the body for my soul's evolution to know myself in these ways. I didn't do it before, but I'm going to do it now. I'm taking charge. I'm taking control. I am responsible and accountable for my life. I am a divine being with pure love and light in the very core of who I am. I'm choosing to let my light shine. No matter what's happening, no matter what I'm witnessing, I'm choosing love and light. I'm not going to go into the blaming, finding fault. I'm not doing it. I'm staying right here in that frequency of pure love and light. Okay? When you do that, I promise you, like the feelings of forgiveness can automatically begin to happen. You start to just open in a way then loving, being loving towards other people, towards your family in a way you probably haven't been maybe for most of your life. Okay. You know, we always want to make everybody wrong. It's your fault. I feel the way I do, but it simply isn't true. It's your reactions to other people's experiences, their, the other people's behaviors, how they're doing, what they're doing, how they look at you, how they speak. It's you who's having the reaction, okay? If you came in an awake being, okay, meaning, oh, you understand and know that you are a divine being, that in the core is pure love and light, you would, you would actually witness, I don't care what they're doing, might be hitting you, spanking you, you know, berating you, whatever they're doing, maybe they're alcoholics, maybe who knows, you know, whatever, you're not going to take it personal. You're going to witness that and keep your heart open and love them no matter what. Okay. And here's the thing. When we keep our heart open and keep loving, no matter what, you keep that heart open, no matter what you're experiencing, what will happen is whatever is not love is going to rise up into awareness. Then you'll be able to face it, feel it, heal it, and let it be done. So it can actually create a profound opportunity for you to heal deep emotions that are buried in your subconscious that you had no clue were there, or maybe you've been looking, looking, but couldn't find them. Well, if you keep your heart open, loving, no matter what, energy is going to come up to awareness, and then you have the opportunity to feel it and release it and be done with it, okay? Let's just say, for example, let's just say your mother was mean, hateful, cruel, evil, whatever, you know, and, and, you know, she made you feel like you're worthless or made you believe or her actions towards you made you believe that she didn't like you. She hated you, you know, wanted to hurt you. Now, is that really true? You don't know that, but this is your interpretation. Okay. It's how you're interpreting your wounded mother who might be shattered and broken. Okay. You don't know what she's lived. Okay. But now you're aware. So now rather than Okay, here we go. So rather than blaming mom, you go to the house and nothing's changed. She's still her. But this time you're going to be your true authentic self, which isn't your shattered, broken, poor me. Blame, blame, blame. Okay. It's that part where you've really connected with your own true essence, your own true divinity, your own true light, that frequency of unconditional love and light. So guess what will happen? You keep your heart open. You keep loving your mother, no matter what she says, no matter what she does. You're just holding love. I guarantee you, she's going to feel it and something will start to happen in her. Something will start to shift. Magic happens. Miracles happen when we hold our light and we stand in our light and we hold that frequency that we are, that pure love and light. Then we can meet any situation. It doesn't matter what it is. Atrocities can be happening. It's not about you. Okay. It's the souls learning their own lessons. It's the soul dancing we're all doing with, with each other. Okay, now your job, your mission is to keep your heart open, no matter what, no matter what you witness, no matter what you hear, no matter what you see, no matter how you feel, re reaction, reactions, hold your light, hold the frequency of love and light, and you will be bringing a completely high level vibration into the family, into your situation. Okay, people will start to shift and change because energy is felt. Think about this. When you're in resistance, you think they don't feel it. When you're holding anger, frustration, you know, dislike, you know, hatred, whatever you got hold, what you're, whatever you're holding inside, everyone's feeling it. They just don't understand what it is or where it's coming from, but everyone's feeling it. Okay. So when you're holding the frequency of pure love and light, no matter what, 
everyone's going to feel it. People will start shifting right there in front of you. People will start sharing deeply in ways they've never done before. Things will shift dramatically. Your world will change and you're going to experience love, which is what everyone wants. We just want to have love. We want to feel love. We want unconditional love. So when you're doing that, you are actually holding unconditional love, which is the heart's desire of every human being. So take this with you wherever you go, wherever you are with your family. Remember, you create your reality 100%. You are a divine being. And the very core of you is pure, unconditional love and light. Take it with you wherever you go because it's already inside of you. Enjoy the holidays.